What's going on, everybody? I hope everyone's having a fantastic evening, fantastic afternoon, fantastic pre-noon. No matter where you are in the world, this is Tom Piker, and this is Austin. Awesome. I'm broadcast coming to you live from sunny California, Los Angeles, folks. We're live and alive, and I hope all the boys, I hope all the girls, and I hope all the MBs are having a fantastic one because today's a beautiful day. Today's a wonderful day. Today is yet another sunny day here in California, Los Angeles. 78 degrees right now out here. And we have a tropical storm warning coming up. Sunny for how long? Not for long, baby. That's right. We got hurricane watch, tropical storm watch, all that bullshit happening here. Climate change is fake. Obviously, it's the Chinese conspiracy. The chi satellites are the ones that are actually causing Hurricane Hillary. That's right. That's why they called it Hurricane Hillary, because the chi are working with none other than Hillary Clinton. That's right. Today we're going to be talking about conspiracy theories. Um, Bro, just use your Sharpie and make it go elsewhere. I know, that's what fucking Donald Trump tried to do. Anyway, before we get into the hurricane advisories and whatnot, this is the part of the broadcast where I tell you a little bit about my personal news, about what's going on in my life. And let me tell you, last night I ended the broadcast and I uh, thought I was going to do some fun stuff. Uh, Connor Dog, uh, Virginia, Connor Dog Veterans Affairs was in Los Angeles for a very brief moment. I thought it was a joke how brief the moment was, but it was not a joke. Um, I hit up Ludwig. I was like, hey, you want to hang out like you, me, and Connor? And he was like, uh, yeah, sure, we're going to dinner literally right at this moment. Uh, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to hang out with my family instead. Is the meeting greet still on tomorrow? As of now, the meeting greet is still on. I do not know what will happen um, because the meeting greet is at 10 and the tropical storm starts at 7. As far as I understand, there is not really uh, there's not really anything going on that is like, Terrible. The peak is tomorrow. Yeah, it's 7 p.m. is when the rain starts. Rainfall does not start before then. Anyway, did not see uh, Cycle Dog Virginia. Did not get to see him. It's okay, though. Hung out with the family a little bit. Tried to find a movie for my dad and myself to watch. Turns out he's worse than my mom. He's of the age now where he basically... Please tell me you have empty filled sandbags for your home. Fuck no. I don't got nothing. This is the part of the broadcast where I tell you a little bit about my personal news. Not about Mr. Beast's personal news, about mine. Even though I do have some personal news revolving around uh, Jimmy the Beast, Mr. Beast as well. The Beast Titan himself. Um, he's been balling. He's been getting shredded. He's been working out. And uh, I'm trying to ball up with him real bad. But he won't come to Los Angeles because he doesn't want the smoke. It's all good, baby. Maybe one of these days I'm just going to fucking fly out there and ball his face off. You know what I mean? I love President Beast, but his since his stance on the Russia-Ukraine war is concerning. Okay. Last night I ended the broadcast, hung out with my family. Uh, I've been changing up my diet structure a little bit, trying to have more uh, home-cooked chickens as a substitute instead of having it like a couple days a week. I'm thinking about having more home-cooked chicken. Instead of the uh, the regular old like sweet green chipotle, because I did I have realized that it's not enough protein for me. I'm back on the creatine grind. Uh, I've uh, substituted the creatine that I uh, usually used to put in a shake. I've subbed that out 
for the creatine pills. I take two creatine pills and two fish oil pills in the morning. You know, it's been it's been going all right. What are your macros like? I need to hit more than 200 grams of protein. I realize I'm only eating like 170 grams of protein a day in my old diet. And I feel like that probably plays a role in my recovery a little bit because I do work out pretty fucking hard. And a big boy like me sitting around 245 to 250 range, I should be at least eating 225 grams of protein. Like the idea that if you're 250, you need 250 grams of protein. That's not necessarily true. Now, of course, 200 grams of protein is not a big deal for a big boy like me. I love I love to eat. The problem is it's a big deal when I'm also trying to do main gaining which is what I've done for years and years and years. I didn't even know there was a fucking bro science term for it, but it's mostly like maintenance calories or not even maintenance calories, but I'm actually trying to gain while cutting, which, you know, creates an issue. How much protein do your trainers recommend to cut prevent muscle loss? I mean, like, think about it this way. It's a, it's a big balancing act. It's not, it's never been done before. Nobody can ever do it unless you do fucking steroids. Cutting will make you look more shredded it'll make you look more brolic problem is i'm already brolic i already got the i already have the muscle mass so if i just went straight cut it would be fine but i don't want to do a straight cut i want to keep um i want to keep improving my muscle mass as well while i'm cutting which is part of the reason why it's like hard i'm constantly uh i'm constantly engaging in the most conflicted uh the most diet workout regimen I have uh, I I have started taking uh, the core power protein route. It's fucking stupid. I know people are gonna yell at me about the fair life practices for for the cows, but holy shit, core power elite protein shake is insane. I've never had anything like this. It's so goddamn expensive. Please don't yell at me. And I know that the. The cows are probably not the greatest uh, treatment. They're not receiving the greatest treatment. It's the Core Power Elite Protein Shake has 42 fucking grams. It's not an ad. It's not a fucking hashtag ad. 42 grams. <coughs> 42 grams of protein. <coughs> 230 calories for 43 gra 42 grams of protein. It is fucking delicious. It's decadent. I love the taste of it. Uh, so now, if I don't have... If I don't get enough protein at the end of the day to hit 200 when I'm also in my like really, uh, really minimal, uh, daily caloric intake, uh, you can drink, uh, the fair life one. It's hyper filtered. So it's lactose free actually. Anyway, regardless, like I was saying the, uh, the, the, uh, fair life elite core protein one that I've been drinking, that shit is so fucking stupid. It tastes delicious. I drop another fucking scoop of uh, protein powder in there. That's like 75 fucking grams of protein for like 350 calories. It's unimaginable. I go nutty with it. What protein powder do you use? Uh, I just use Optimum Nutrition Whey. It's, I've literally only used that since the beginning of time, I would say. Like, I feel like cavemen would get fucking brolic with it if they had uh, optimum nutrition. You don't need anything else. I, I feel like protein powder is an exact science that they've already figured out many, many years ago. You know, Bronze Age, uh, Bronze Age uh, weightlifting era. They figured it out, and they've just stuck with it. Everything else on top of that that they've designed on the in the industry is basically all of that other shit is just, you know, like different kinds of protein supplements like legendary does these like crazy pop tarts like that. I like trying them every now and then, you know, everybody's got different dietary needs. So, uh, who cares? But as far as the, the regular old protein goes, I, I, you know, I'm just going with the optimum nutrition. What's your calorie and protein intake? Um, I mean, I try to hit 2300, but it, I, I'll, I'll deviate a little bit. Like yesterday I had 2453. Uh, or 2,500, sorry. I try to hit 2,400 uh, 2, calories. And um, I try to hit above 200 grams of protein. So yesterday I had 233 grams of protein, 203 grams of carbs, and 90 grams of fat. And the only reason why that was a, a split like that 
The only reason why it was like that is because my brother bought cookies. So I had a bunch, and my dad got Magnolia Bakery. Magnolia Bakery, uh, uh, like, they got treats. They got treats out the wazoo in this fucking house, okay? It's hard. It's hard for me to stay on point, okay? Um, definitely a minority here, but I have the literal same frame as you and same height, so I love hearing your journey and tweaks with this shit. I used to be a big fat boy, also changed my life. Sorry, my head is bigger, though. Much love. They don't realize how much we perpetually view the world through that lens of being a big boy, no matter what our bodies look like. Yeah. Anyway. I worked out this morning. I feel pretty good. You know, did some leg shit. Uh, you know, feeling great about that. My back was hurting a lot. So I did some rotator cuff work. Or not rotator cuff work. Um, where you just do like an active hang. Straight arm active hang. And you pull yourself up. Specifically with like... Uh, did some scapular shrugs. Some scapular retractions. Um, a big part of doing that, I think... Like, a major, major issue for me is that I have rhomboid pain. It comes and goes. My my upper back is all sorts of fucked up. It's strong, but it's also incredibly fucked up due to my uh, my my uh, double jointedness. My joints are weak. I need to do these kinds of, like, crazy mobility exercises because I get neck pain and I get rhomboid pain regularly. What is this? I really think you should get Vic Star from the Simon on the show or on the podcast. He's following you on Twitter already. He has interesting policies for a non-political YouTuber. He went on a little tangent against private health care. On the sidecast and on the whole Kai situation, was against the police that hit the kid and described why the police in the U.S. suck. He's really interesting. If you want more info, I'm a big stan. Says Ali Palestine. Um, yeah, sure. I'm down. I'm down to talk to him. So... I hate math too much to count macros. Calorie counting is already making my head hurt. Yeah, that's why I use an app, man. I, I use the f I used to use the free MyFitnessPal app. Now I have the premium, not an ad. Don't get the premium. The free one is fucking fine. Um, but there's like a fuck ton of applications you can use to track your calories, especially ones with like a deep library of food that you can just click on. Um, but yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's get into it. Let's get started. Let me just blast off and, um, you know, I'm live. I'm alive. Let's do the damn thing. You know what I mean? Um, Jeff Nippert has one he recommends too. Yeah. I think it's called macro or something. What is it? Macro factor or is it macro factor? I don't know what it is, but he has a good one. Obviously I trust Jeff, uh, way more than I trust myself. So you know, but we got a, we got a big day ahead of us. Uh, Jeff Wittek is going to be in the fucking building to cut my hair later and cause drama. Um, hurricane prep stream and more get in now. You trying to look good for the flood little bro. Yeah. Um, later today, I am going to be going on the Sad Boys podcast. That's finally happening. They should just call it the J&J &J podcast. Don't know why they call it the Sad Boy, but, um, I have a blast off. Fear not. We'll take a look at the OK Buddy memes today as well. I think I will have time. As a matter of fact, maybe I'll start off with this. What is this? Uh, start off with the Austin Ox clip. Yes, I saw. Uh, Zoe's a wonderful person. She she actually literally DM'd me to apologize. She was like, "Oh, I just that just like kind of came out of nowhere. I'm so sorry. I like revealed this information. I didn't say anything wrong. I was like, no, it's fine. It's not a big deal. I saw, I saw the clip chat. Where was I? Where were we? Okay. Oh, here's the Saturday Fun Day post uh, that I blasted off for. Damn, bro, shit is fucking broken look at this shit's break we got 345 likes on this would be your first mass would be your first massively hypocritical stand champagne socialist oh we'll probably get a lot of we'll get an influx of fucking weirdos and perverts in here because i responded to this dumbass from the tim pool broadcast which i thought was really funny i couldn't stop myself 